Hi everybody, it's Danielle. I'm coming to you on December 25th, 2014. Merry Christmas to those who celebrate it. Happy holidays to everyone else. Um, I'm coming to you, uh, I've said that already, with my um, parameters for next year in terms of makeup. As you know, I tried to attempt to do a no-buy this year. I did fairly decent, but then I changed my whole no-buy to um, I want to finish up 365 products by the end of the year. I've hit that mark. Um, I'll be sharing extra empties, I believe, at the end of next week um, when it is the end of the year. So I'll have a final end of year number of empties for you, which surpassed 365, which I'm really proud of. Um, you know, I did not do so well with the no-buy thing, but um, certain things come up, like you have a bad day, you want to go shopping, and you buy makeup. Uh, and that happens a little too frequently for me. So, um... I'm going to share with you my plan. Now, I saw this on um, a post. It's like how to save money for a year or how to save up, you know, a little extra cash for a year. And what it is is at the end of each week, for the number of weeks that it is in the year, you add that much money to a bank. And this is what I'm going to call my beauty bank. So I've, you know, tried and failed to write it here. I was like, oh, that's not right. That's too much. And I was like seeing the numbers add up really quickly. And I was like, I don't think I'm doing this right. But what it is, is every Wednesday, because the year starts on a Thursday, the end of the week is Wednesday. At the end of, of Wednesday, I'm actually going to have a little jar that says Girls Night Out. It's purple. Um, and I'm going to put the amount of money, dollar bills, or how much money for the week of the year that it is. So, for example, on the first week, I'm going to put $1 in. Um, that's going to be my, my start point. Um, then the next week, on the 14th of January, I'm going to put $2 in, so then I'll have 3 And then 3 the next week, 4 so on and so on, until you get down to this, to next year, um, which at the, you know, December 30th, the day before the end of the year, I'm going to add $52, which would make my beauty bank up to $1,368. But there is a reason why it's a beauty bank. And I'm going to have to, I'll probably type this up and make it check mark so it's a little bit nicer. I'm going to keep the same notebook I'm working in this year, just, you know, move things around. Um, but the deal is, I cannot, after January 1st, I cannot purchase anything unless I take the money from my beauty bank. So that seems like January, even February into March, is going to be really, really rough. Because looking at the numbers, you can see they're low. So, obviously, what I'm going to do is make sure I have all my essentials before the beginning of the year. Um, and I just think that this is a more cost, uh, a better way for me to keep track of what I'm spending, what I'm, uh, what I'm spending and what I'm spending it on. So every time I make a transaction out of my beauty bank, I have to write it like a ledger and deduct it. I may not necessarily type it up. I might just write it over and make it look more, like, uh, look neater than it is currently looking. But, you know, I'm th I was trying to figure out ways earlier in the year, um, and I'm going to talk about this very briefly because I'm probably going to do a whole video on it, but I am very, very disappointed with Glambot extremely disappointed. I sent them a box full of 19 or more, I mean 19 or 20 items, and they sent me back a price quote like three weeks later because they're like, oh, family time. I said, okay, I understand that. But then when they sent me my quote, they only like mentioned one item, which was the Glamour for All face kit from MAC, and they said that that item had to be sold in a fair condition, which I looked on the website, and they sold it in good condition. Yeah, thanks for lying, Glambot. Anyway, I digress. So then they sent me a quote for $72, and I was like, wow, that's really generous just for the one item. And then I was looking up on eBay and Amazon, and yeah, that item is going for like $90. So I was like, oh, great. So then I wrote her an e them an email back saying, you know, that's fine that, that, that you know, you feel that there was staining on the item and that that was a quote, but what about the rest of the items? And I got a question back because I responded, I wanted my money via PayPal because I wanted my cash back for what I put out. And then they're like, what do you mean? We need clarification. I wrote them. I said, I have a whole list of things. And I saw they had them up on the website already. They had already sold some of the items and others that were up there for an exorbitant amount of money because they were limited edition, good condition items. Um, and I'm really, quite frankly, disappointed and unimpressed with Glambot. 
I wish they would have clarified things for me more than just handing me $72, which is an insult for what I gave them. Um, so there, don't get scammed by Glambot. If you like buying from them, go ahead and have fun. I'm sure they, whatever. But I feel that that was a huge scam, and I, I was very upset with that. But lesson learned, if you ever try something out for the new for the first time, don't send things that you think would be big ticket items. So, um, and they're all sold out online now. So you're welcome, Glambot, for making way too much money off of me. Whatever. So, learned my lesson from that. If I'm ever going to sell anything, I'll probably do a sale via YouTube, Instagram, just not. Glambot because that disgusts me with the lack of consideration that they have for other people. So again, so my beauty bank. So by the end of the year, if I don't take any money out, there would be $1,368 in it. So by the end of the year, if I'm writing down all my purchases in beauty, and I'll define that in a minute, um, it cannot exceed 1368 of my own cash. Now, if I'm buying things with gift cards, that's different. Um, I do have gift cards at Sephora for now, and I have TD Bank gift cards and all that goodness. My birthday's coming up next week, so I don't know what I'm going to be getting. I'm going to try not to buy things after the new year, but again, my birthday is December 31st, so it's the last day of the year. So um, if there's something I really want and I'm going to buy it, it cannot be with cash, it has to be with a gift card, um, it can, and, or if it's out of my beauty bank, then I'm going to be starting at a negative, which is not good in any case. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, things I consider beauty purchases. Um, obviously we have foundation, concealers, mascara, lipstick, blush, bronzer, eyeshadow, brow products, primers, um, highlighters. <laughs> those type of things. I'm also going to include um, hair products because I do have two giant two liters still from Bedhead that I'm working on. I have a bunch of deluxe size samples from Bumble and Bumble I'm also working on, which I have in my hair right now, which is making it look really shiny and I like it. Um, I have Living Proof Giant gigantic travel samples. I have actually two full size shampoos and conditioners that I haven't even opened. I have a full moisture mask. Like I, those are going to be on a case by case basis. If I fit, completely finish up what I have in my store right now, like my store, my storage right now, then I can get to buying those. Um, body lotions, body washes, I'm good on that. I don't feel the need to go out and buy something because I have so much and I did get quite a few gifts that include those type of things. Um, so I have a lot in my collection. I have tons of stuff, which I'll probably do an inventory this week. I'm off this week because I work in a school. So um, I'll probably do go through, like, do show you my palettes, my singles, what I have. Um, the only things I can really kind of foresee are foundations because I use them on a daily basis. Um, setting sprays because I also use them on a daily basis. Um, but again, those things are going to have to come out of my beauty bank. Everything else that I have, um, I'm pretty sure I'm never going to, like, run out of eyeshadow. <laughs> Unless something, like, all of a sudden they all just went bad on me and I couldn't use them. I have a, way too many things of eyeshadow. Same for cheeks and, and, and bronzers and all that stuff. I have tons of stuff. If I ever say I don't have that type of stuff, I'm lying. <laughs> because I certainly do have quite a bit um, in my backup storage. Um, so yeah, then, um, so other than the beauty bank, I'm just going to try to make my decisions if I am going to purchase makeup very, very particularly because I cannot be buying frivolous things. Again, this year I'm a brand new homeowner and so my money I have, like even this money I'm saving in the beauty bank, it'd be fantastic if I didn't spend it all and I had extra cash at the end of the year to go Christmas shopping for my family. Like, that would be great instead of having to be like, oh gosh, what am I going to do? Um, also, just rule for life coming up for um, 2015 and on. If I don't have it in my hand or like in my debit account, I am not spending it. Um, I am in the process of paying down credit cards because when you're young, you're dumb and you use them and you don't think about the consequences. So 
um, working on those balances, but 100%, if I don't have it, the cash in my hand or just on my debit card with me, then I can't buy it because there's no sense in owning things that you don't actually own, um, if that makes any sense. That's what, that's what credit cards are. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's going to be, it's going to be a good year financially. I'm setting myself up to be in a, a awesome place. Um, I just, you know, I've been, I do so many random odd jobs and stuff that I put cash away on the side so I can have money in savings so that if I do want to do something big, like a huge trip, like to Ireland or something like that, that I could take it and not feel bad about it and be like, oh, I'm going away and that's just crazy. <laughs> But I think I'll be successful. Um, in addition to the beauty bank, I think I'm going to do like a life bank next to it. So it will essentially be doubling the money, but two different things like life bank being like for incidentals. Like I know I want to go away to Colorado for my spring break. So that will be starting up a savings for that. And the beauty bank will be kind of completely separate entities. Um, yeah, other than that, I think... Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, keep posted for um, my official Glambot review, which I'll get into a little bit more depth. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this time, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.